Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at how we can model out this particular pavilion, but with a slight twist using simple functions like extract isocurve, rebuild, and loft. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is create the surface itself. For that, I'm going to be creating a curve, a vertical normal straight line on this particular edge. I'm going to move it to define the distance. And now I need the same copy in the four segments. So I'm going to use a polar array. I'm going to define the center in my top view. And four items, 360. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the shape that I need to uh, give these particular curves so that we can get the same profile as what we have in the image. So for that, these two particular edges are going to be angled in such a manner. Now we're going to turn on record history and we're going to loft these four edges. Where the way of crossing, we can just align the curves. Okay, we have something. So now we just have to create a closed loft and hit OK. And since we use record history, now even if I edit this particular curve, the position of this curve I edit it, it'll accordingly make the change to the surface as well. So with that in mind, I'm just going to rotate this as such. I'm going to give it this kind of a profile. And we can even move this curve here, give it a slight outward angle. And once we're done, now we have to work on the individual elements on this particular surface. So select the surface and then rebuild it. And I'm going to give it a large value like 150 because I need that many items on this. So I'm going to hit OK. It will break the history of the object, but that's fine. Now you can see we have multiple curves, ISO curves on the surface. Now let me just delete the previous curves that we had and I'm going to select the surface and I'm going to extract ISO curve. And you can see we're able to get various ISO curves, but I need, I've already created the ISO curves that I need. So I'm just going to go to my command prompter and use extract all, press enter and now I'm just going to hide my surface. So you can see we have all the individual elements here. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to create single surfaces for each of these elements. So we can use ribbon for that. So now we have all these individual surfaces. The next thing I need to do is create another set of these on the exterior. So I'm going to deselect curves in my selection filter, select all my surfaces and now use offset surface. Make sure they're all facing the same direction. Once you've done that, define your distance, make sure your uh, option of solid is no and then press enter now you can see we have the outer surface as well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of select this entire surface that we've created and put it into a layer and select all of my curves and of it. I'm going to bring back the surface that I had 
and I'm going to offset that same surface. Same distance as we did earlier. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just hide the individual elements that we created. And I'm going to rebuild this surface, these two surfaces. Actually, I'm just going to extract the ISO curve from the surface. I'm going to change the direction to the U side. Select like this one. And I need the one there. And the same thing we're going to apply to this. Now I'm going to deselect those my selection filter, select these two and hide it so that we have these elements. So these are going to be my support structures. So I'm going to go to my right side viewport. So now I'm going to define small squares for the support structure. I'm going to put the same element here and here as well. Now I'm just going to sweep one to create these elements. We have these elements and I'm going to change the layer for these objects as well. Now once I bring it back you can see we have the support structures as well as the shape of the surface with the individual elements. Now the last thing we need to do is define the base for this. So for that I'm going to turn off object snap and I'm going to use my interpolate curves to define the profile here. Now for the last point, I'm going to turn on my object snap again so I can create a closed loop. Now that I have this loop, I can create a surface out of this using surface from planar curves. And I can take that surface and move it to the right height. And if I want to give it thickness, just extrude it downwards. You are given this particular profile. And lastly, I'm going to select this base surface. I'm going to duplicate the border. Then I'm going to offset that particular curve. My distance of 10. And I'm going to loft the two curves, the duplicated curve as well as the article. But I get this flat surface and now the last thing to give that thickness as well. You can extrude surface. Give it that thickness. Now we have two poly surfaces. I'm going to just move this top step slightly below and I'm going to boolean union them so that becomes a single element. Now all of these are going to be in the same uh, particular material. So I'm going to take these elements. That. Select your poly surface, change the layer of that as well. And now I'm going to apply a particular material to this. So if you slide to the right in your layers tab, material, go to custom. I'm going to assign a color to this and I can bring in a wooden texture. Hit OK. And once you finish all this, hide all your curves. If you go to your rendered viewport. We have the object modeled up. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.
and check out our YouTube page for more videos on various other softwares. I'll see you guys.